El Comité Asesor sobre Prácticas de Inmunización es el grupo que aprueba las vacunas para su uso público en varios países. En este vídeo, este comité aprueba una nueva vacuna contra la hepatitis B, que contiene un nuevo ingrediente nunca usado anteriormente, que ocasiona problemas cardíacos y con el herpes zóster, pero aún así es aprobado para su uso. Is this adjuvant used in other licensed products, either in the U.S. or elsewhere, or is it a new adjuvant? This is the first vaccine for humans in which this adjuvant is being used. Thank you. Uh, what uh, you mentioned the post-marketing safety studies. Is there any description of what those are to be? There are a number of uh, post-marketing safety studies. Um, the study 23, a signal of acute myocardial infarction was seen. And therefore, we made it a requirement for, for this signal to be investigated further. The, the commitment was to look at also the occurrence of zoster, uh, because that was also seeing an, incre an increased incidence in the study 23. Thank you. Dr. Walter. Uh, yes, with the number of adjuvanted vaccines now avail available, including a flu vaccine and Shingrix, Um, is there any comment on using this vaccine at the same time with other adjuvanted vaccines? We have no data to uh, make um, a recommendation one way or the other. So um, just so you, just to sort of put this in context of other vaccines, um, while preclinical studies were not done using these vaccines simultaneously, our general approach to immunizations is that um, they should be given they can be given at the same time in different um, limbs. We will take a vote on this uh, recommendation. And voting is open? Is voting open? Thank you very much. Uh, so the voting is completed, um, and it is unanimous to support this recommendation. Um, the vaccine safety data link data will require people to be using the vaccine to develop substantive database. And Dr. Sun, do you want to comment on the post-marketing data that FDA is requiring? I think for the myocardial infarction study, we're, we're uh, uh, seeing that the date for, or likely for completion is May, 20, May 31, 2020. Cuando prueban las vacunas durante dos años en poblaciones como Argentina, Luego con los datos de los daños que causan, podrán saber si se usará en Estados Unidos. Por eso la fundación de Bill Gates se ha asociado al Banco Mundial para que les den un préstamo de 300 millones de dólares para que hagan una base de datos bien eficiente y estricta con niños y adultos en Argentina para que experimenten con ellos primero. Vea usted mismo el informe del Banco Mundial. Fíjese en la página 70 de Bill Gates como socio.